What up with you guys, you know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike, back again with the Slate BSX. Uh, this is uh, my six month review on it. I've had these for six months. I've had a chance to put these through the paces and kind of see what they're about and really experience and work them into my workflow and kind of develop my own opinions. I like to do these follow-ups, uh, post reviews on different products that I review that I use on a regular basis so that I can show you guys, uh, the give you guys the real business about these things. So first off, again, I've had these for six months. They've been doing great. Uh, they've held up really well. Uh, I know there's some people that have had serious issues with the band on it breaking uh, and the little thing, and they've had to send out replacement units. Again, I've had these for six months. I've dropped them. I have threw them in backpacks. I've uh, carried them around, traveled them, been on a plane with them, all of those different things like that, using them in different scenarios and different situations. And I have not had any issues with tearing or breaking. I know there was a batch, they said a, a, a front end batch that was bad, but you know, some people are still having issues with the bands breaking. Uh, again, I don't like, I don't have a wide head either. So maybe if you have a wider head, maybe it's more subject to break. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't have a really wide head, so uh, it just kind of does that. I, I, I baby them as much as I can, but that I, you know, there's times where I toss them, I drop them, I do different things like that, as if you would with any set of headphones, uh, I do that. Now, these have become crucial to me in my mixing process, and I mainly use them, and I tell a lot of other people, I use them in like my last um, like 10 to 15% of my mix. I don't mix exclusively with these. I have in pinches where I've been like on a plane or I had to do something, do some edits while I was on the plane or I had to, uh, you know, mix something while uh, on the road. I, I've, I've had, you know, a handful of situations where I've actually mixed completely in them. And it's actually a really, really dope experience to do so, to start a mix from start to finish. But because I have my own studio monitors, because I have a nice treated room, uh, I love the feel of my sub that I have in here, my monitors that I have. I love the way that um, that, that feels. I, I like. I always say it's like I like to feel the music hitting me in the chest, not right here at my you know my neck. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't get a a, a real good sense or feel of low end from uh, listening on a set of headphones. A feel. Now, no, don't don't get me wrong. You can hear the low end and you can reference the low end really good. But there's something about being in a room, especially when you have a sub, you know, attached to your monitors, you can feel the 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 bass hitting your chest, hitting your 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 feet. You can feel the rumble of the low end in your, you know, on your feet, you know, as it's vibrating the floor. And it gives you a sense and a power in mixing that being this under a set of headphones doesn't really do um, do it justice. But again, really good with referencing low end uh, in this because this gives you more of a direct feel on the low end but i like to feel the bass when i'm in the mix uh like feel it feel it so again this is a lot of times my last 10 to 15 percent of the mix this is what i do i referenced it across the multiple uh slate rooms and multiple headphones to kind of check for what we call translation so this is where it's most beneficial to me is like once I feel like I've gotten the mix to where I want it to be listening on my monitors, then I go grab these, I put them on, I turn my monitors off and I listen to the mix for another 20 to 30 minutes uh, just in the different rooms under this set of headphones. So for me, it's, it's very valuable uh, in that. I can use it for the, that sort of thing. So I really, really, really enjoy uh, doing that with these particular set of headphones. The other thing is that they added in a few new rooms in the 2.0 update with uh, Stephen Slate's room, which this sounds really, really good. Uh, and then they added in uh, a handful of sets of new uh, headphones that you can get in there. But what's really, really cool, even in this room, what I love is this near field is like that little aura tone joint. So if you want to reference your mix in mono, that is the, this is the room that you want to use to reference in mono because that's a big thing when you're mixing. You want to know what does your mix sound like in mono 
And this is the perfect way to kind of check your mix in mono if you're just using these exclusively to mix your, uh, your particular project. So I want to throw a couple of cons at you. The obvious con, of course, is the build quality. A lot of people have had problems with it breaking and stuff, like I said earlier. But, um, you know, it doesn't feel, you know, like it's the most premium thing. So, you know, you kind of take that with a grain of salt. This is almost like, you know, a $500 investment pretty much. Uh, and you want, you don't want to like, just be afraid that you're going to tear it up. And it, it does feel like that in some cases, you know, I've found, uh, like I always, I'm always scared when I pick them up and I'm conscious about that. I don't want to break them or tear them up. So another thing is the rooms itself. Sometimes they can be a little wonky, uh, going through them. Uh, but they sound really, really good depending on which one you are. I really like Steven's room. Sonoma is cool. I like Archon or Arshon, however you say it. Uh, and I like the car, the boom box, and the AirPods. Those are the ones that I use the most uh, when I'm kind of mixing and referencing. Um, but, you know, some of these can kind of feel a little weird when you're in them. That's just, that's just me and maybe my ears uh, and all those different things like that. But, you know, to each his own. Some people like NRG, some people like that. I don't care for NRG or Howie Weinberg Studio. I, I don't care for those. Uh, but I like these these other ones that kind of really work for me. Um, but what's what's really wonky about it sometimes is kind of finding that balance between your depth, you know, of how much of the effect, the room effect you want in. Uh, you just kind of have to play with it and see what you feel. But I haven't found a, a, a reason to use the whole EQ section. I just you leave that alone. I don't mess with that. I use the rooms as is. Uh, but... Uh, one thing that is helpful is the two second space thing uh, when you're going from one room to the other. So, if, you know, I want to go here. It's going to give me two seconds. So it's going to pause the music for like two seconds to let my um, to let my ears adjust to the new room I'm going into. Uh, and that can be very, very helpful when you're in a situation uh, like this or whatever. But like trying to figure that out. But one thing I will say is when you're actually in a room you should definitely turn this two second thing off so you can just kind of flip through your different um your different you know speakers you know what i'm saying because if you got this on when i click on far field it's going to give me the two second thing click on near field and that can kind of be a, a, a real interruption to your music as you're record as you're mixing and stuff so overall I think this is a really good investment. Anyone who wants to get it, if you're on the fence about it, thinking about getting it, I think you should get it. My only uh, caution with you would be the uh, actual, you know, build quality of it. Uh, you know, everything else about it is really, really cool. After owning it for like eight, nine months now, it's it's really, really solid to me. Uh, it's a solid part of my workflow. This is something that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And so I would definitely recommend it to you guys. I would just say handle it with extreme care. Handle it with extreme care. Baby it as much as you are as, as you want. That's my only caution. Everything else about it to me is very, very dope. So that's it, folks. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, hit the affiliate link down below if you uh, want to get these. It helps support the channel. Uh, and you know how we do on these videos. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. I'm out. I'll let you boy.